Hey everyone, Daniel here again. When you get put in quarantine in Australia, you come in on the big old jet airliner like I did. I came through customs, got on the bus, and at that point I had absolutely no idea where I was going. No idea, no insight prior to it all happening. So that bus ride into Sydney, uh, wound up taking me to a very pretty place really. And as, as you've seen in possibly my other videos, the place where I landed wound up being great. But another part of the fact that you don't know what you're in for is the meal plan. You get three meals a day. That's outlined quite clearly uh, in the guidelines when you know that you're going to have to go into quarantine. But of course, you don't actually know what meals they're going to be yet. Not that you particularly worry about it or anything. It's just a uh, curiosity. But if you were someone who was heading Australia bound and you did have it in your future that you were going to be spending 14 days in lockup, uh, you might be interested to know what the meals are like. So in this video, I'm going to share that with you. Uh, I, I don't intend to make this too drawn out and uh, just a, a great long video of videos of videos of meals and that, but try to put it into some sort of compilation or montage of the breakfast, lunches and dinners that I've been having. The food's been great. When I first got here, uh, I, I was hungry a lot. And I think it was more uh, because of the, the change in times. Um, my body clock versus when the meals were showing up were a little bit out of sync. And I, I was hungry by the time every meal showed up. And and I found them to be, you know, not overly big meals, but really, really good food. So this next bit is going to be sharing that with you. Um, I hope this is helpful or an insight, particularly for those that do know they're going to be going through this process. Not a cure, but something similar. My God, the coffee smells good. Must be European style. A thimble full of coffee. Hmm, interesting. We'll give it a whirl anyway. An hour later, it's about seven o'clock. Commuter train heading across the bridge. Glorious, I'm having coffee. <laughs> one of the highlights, one of the big differences between the US and Australia. I mean, the coffee here is just sensational as well, but uh, quantities is uh, a different thing. Tiny little piddly little thimble of coffee. It's gorgeous coffee, tastes amazing, but um, I need like 10 of them. Catch you later. All right, so here we are, Daniel's back. Breakfast, morning number one. Oh boy. Because of the time difference between where I'm at, used to where I am now, I'm just so hungry, out of sort of, out of sync hungry. 30 grams of special K. Couple little muffins. Some juice. I'm guessing this is yogurt. Oh, yum! But my goodness, oh, I'm not too sure if that's going to kill the hunger. Hello, everyone. It's Daniel. Here I am, day two, lunchtime, uh, in my confinement in Sydney, uh, and it is lunchtime. So let's have a look what this mystery bag's got today. I'm certainly looking forward to it. One thing I notice is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting hungry real early. I still think it's probably because of the, the time is so different to home that your, your hunger and all that sort of occurs at different times. But anyhow, let's have a look in this mystery bag. All right, what do we got today? All right, yum, 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 yum. All right, oh, that looks good. Fresh salad. Cheese and crackers. Delicious. Oh, of course, the, the little lump of bread, which is always one of my favorites. An apple. Yesterday's peach was just amazing. Just so spot on right. And what do we have in our little hot box here? Let's have a Captain Cook. A quiche thing. 
Oh yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I'll let you know how it goes. Bye for now. Oh yum 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 yum. Mmm. Best quiche I've had and I can't even remember the last time I had quiche. Loving it. Yum 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 yum. <laughs> ah, another mystery box. Uh, let's have a look. What do we got? Some water. Another one of those bread rolls. Bit of melon. And some sort of dessert. What's the what's the what's the main for tonight, eh? Little bit of fish and some I don't even know what that is. Guess it's in the rice family. Anyhow, grabs up. Good morning, everyone. Daniel here. Another day in paradise. Best view from solitary confinement anywhere, I'm sure. And breakfast has just shown up. Let's have a look what we got this morning. Let's see a big old bagel there, which is most welcome. Ooh, bit of ham. Nice. Blueberry yogurt and some orange juice. Can't wait to dive in. Can't wait to dive in. Major construction going on next door. These guys have been into it since about seven o'clock this morning. Gonna be some splendid views out of that joint. Anyhow, I'll talk to you later. It's absolutely delicious. It's like a grilled cheese. It's definitely a cheese of some sort. I'd say Greek cheese or something. I'm not too sure if it's better or not, but it's certainly super yummy. Oh, I can't wait to tuck in. Oh, ho, ho, and here we go again. Daniel just reporting in on my lovely dinner. Potato, cauliflower, beans, bit of Looks like roast chicken. Some sweet delights. Yum. Oh joy, oh rapture. My breakfast is here. A quarter of a cup of cereal. yogurt. What else have we got today? Notice the long walk, the hike between the front door and my observation platform. What else have we got today? Bit of banana bread. Oh, yum. Lovingly made in Australia. Makes me long for the sky and Europe. Banana bread though. Juice, good old blueberry yogurt. All right, say good morning to Sydney. All right, let's see what the nugget of the day is. The World Health Organization has announced that dogs cannot contract COVID 19. Dogs previously held in quarantine can now be released, to be clear. Who let the dogs out? Oh, Jesus. All right, Daniel here. And for mystery of the day, what have we got? Looks like a bit of carrot cake, pineapple, a lump of bread, and drum roll. Ooh, a bit of fish, some saffron rice, and I think that's a leek. Yum, can't wait to dive in. Good morning all, it's Daniel. <clears throat> it's an exciting day. It is definitely an exciting day. I don't know what it is yet, but I've got a hot breakfast. Oh my goodness. Let's have a look. Oh, could it be? There's some tomato sauce there. 
That's encouraging. Let's see if I can open this one handed without flicking it across the room. Hmm. <gasps> I wonder if that is an Australian version of a breakfast burrito. Let's have a look. I'll open it up. That is delicious. Bacon and egg burrito. <sighs> Keep them coming. Well, it's Daniel here again, and as my buddies are toiling to get that subfloor in ready for concrete, probably within a couple of days, my lunch just showed up. What do we got today? This looks just so good. So good. Tuna with egg and salad. Can't wait to dive in. So, what's today's deliveries? Tap, tap on the door. I've got a change of linens and towels, which... I have to do myself and then I put the, the old stuff in a dissolvable bag out the door. So they throw the whole thing in the washing machine, the bag dissolves and they don't have to have contact with what I've touched. My lunch looks like grilled chicken. Oh, it looks fantastic. I can't wait to dive into that. And the bottle I've been. Got my quota of beer and some chips. That'll be for this evening's entertainment. All right, here's tonight's mystery box. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to know what's going to be in the bottom. That'll be some water, maybe a bit of fruit, and a little dessert of sorts. What have we got? Awesome. Looks delicious. But, as always, the item of intrigue is the, the hot dish. What have we got today? The meals have been great. Really good. I mean... First few days, I thought the tide was out a bit. <laughs> Not very big, but it's certainly been good. What are we doing? Oh, roast beef, mashed potatoes, carrots and beans. That is awesome. I cannot wait. Let's go and have a look at the window. See how Sydney's coping this evening. Beautiful as ever. Beautiful as ever. Saturday here, so lots of pleasure craft out on the water today. And uh, we had a bit of drizzle yesterday morning, but uh, it's cleared up lovely. What a glorious morning, YouTube. Uh, Daniel's here waking up to Sunday morning. Sydney Harbour looks just amazing. This is my breakfast. I think it's a ham and cheese croissant. Weighs all of about three grams. Yeah, yeah, life goes on. Ho, ho, ho. This evening is curry. One of my favorites. Can't wait. Another delicious lunch coming up. Bit of salmon and salad. Looks lovely. Can't wait to dig in. All right, here we are again. Lunch. One of those little rocks again. Ah, that's biscuit. This is encouraging. Bit of tomato sauce. And a peach. Don't know what's in here yet, but I can't think of anything that comes to mind that I wouldn't like with tomato sauce. What do we got? Oh my God, a pie. A pie. Bit of mash on the top. And uh, I'm guessing that's peas. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bet that pie's good. Oh, my goodness. That is a good pie. Overlooking Sydney Harbour on a Friday evening. What a beautiful place. Okay, well. I'm slowly getting towards the end of my my time here. 
My second last dinner just showed up. See the change in the crane since yesterday? They added about 60 feet to that thing yesterday, uh, during the course of today. But for dinner, let's get to the important stuff. We have a beautiful bit of grilled fish. Don't know what it is, it's a white fish with some pumpkin. And I really don't know what that is that it's on. Looks yummy, not sure what it is. Hope you're all having a great evening. Catch you later.